Welcome to VideoTutorial.net's course on AutoCAD. Thanks for choosing VTN to help you learn about this awesome software. In this lesson, we're going to explore the AutoCAD interface. First, let's take a look at the drawing area or graphic area in the middle of the screen. We're in what's called model space. When we create a drawing, a new drawing, by default, we're in model space. Model space is infinite in size. This means you can draw anything on a one-to-one -one scale, for example, an entire factory or an entire country. In model space, you can draw whatever you like, and then you figure out how to lay it out on paper later on. Model space in AutoCAD is kind of like an infinite piece of paper. Okay, let's begin by confirming which workspace we're in. Here's the workspace switch. We're currently in the drafting and annotation workspace. Let's switch to AutoCAD Classic. We're also able to switch workspaces from the Quick Access Toolbar. Let's go back to Drafting and Annotation. This drop-down menu for workspaces doesn't currently fit in the Quick Access Toolbar. I'll just stretch the program window out a little bit past the dimensions of my recording screen. Okay, now we can see the drop-down menu. And now let me just restore the AutoCAD software window to the recording size of my screen. Let's take a look at this big A in the top left corner. That's called the Application button. Here we can access the standard Windows commands of New, Open, Save and Save As, as well as Publish, and up at the top of the menu we've got a search function. Click outside to auto-collapse the menu. In older versions of AutoCAD, we also had the standard Windows menu bar with Edit, View, and so on. Now these commands are accessible in a different way. Let's expand the Quick Access Toolbar and scroll down to Show Menu Bar. And here is the standard Windows menu strip. To hide the Windows menu strip, click the drop-down flyout of the Quick Access Toolbar and select Hide Menu Bar. This drop-down menu is also where you customize the tools that are currently visible in the Quick Access Toolbar. Anything visible is marked with a check mark. At the top of the drawing area is what's called the Ribbon Bar. If you don't see it, click this button to toggle it visible. Click on this downward pointing arrow to see a few more viewing options. Minimize to Tabs. Minimize to Panel Titles, Minimize to Panel Buttons, Cycle Through All is currently selected, meaning that the toggle will take us through all of the various positions. The majority of the commands that we use are available on the ribbon. We can add or remove tabs from the ribbon. The ribbon is categorized into a variety of tabs. I can switch between the tabs with a simple left click. Each tab is grouped into a variety of panels. Each panel has its own tool set. If you're not sure what a tool does, hover the mouse over the tool for a tooltip. And hover over the tool for a bit longer to see an extended tooltip, which explains how the tool is used and provides you with an example. At the bottom of the tooltip, we see that pressing F1 while the tooltip is active takes us to AutoCAD help files for more detailed support. Let's close the help window. If you don't see the tooltips, click on the application button and then click options. Go to the display tab. Ensure that show tooltips is checked. We've also got the two sub options checked. Show shortcut keys in tooltips and show extended tooltips, which we just saw. We can also choose the number of seconds delay before the extended tooltip flies out. Currently, two seconds is selected. AutoCAD gives you a lot of ways to customize the interface. Displaying scroll bars in the drawing window. Changing the fonts. Let's cancel out. Changing the colors of the workspace. Cancel out as well. And so on. On the right-hand side of this window, we've got the option to modify the drawing icons. These options affect current drawings only. And let's cancel out of the options window. 
At the top left corner of the drawing area are view controls, and beside that are the visual style controls. We're going to look at these in more details later on in this course. Let's talk a little bit more about the panels on the ribbon. The various panels of the ribbon can be undocked. We can also toggle the panel orientation. We can drag and move the panel. And to restore the panel to the ribbon, we just click here. Not all available tools are visible at one time on the panel. To make the rest of the tools visible, click the menu flyout arrow. If I move the mouse away from the flyout, the panel collapses automatically. We can make the panel stay open. We just click on the pin to pin it down. The ribbon and panel environment is basically standard now for CAD software. We're able to customize the ribbon as well. Let's click this arrow and scroll down to customize. Let's expand the ribbon branch. Click panels. And on the right hand side, we've got the panel preview and the panel properties. Let's cancel out of this window. We can also hide and show panels easily. Just right click on any tool, and select Show Panels. All visible panels are marked with a check mark. Let's hide the block panel. We can also hide and show tabs in the same way. Just right click on any tool, Show Tabs. Any visible tools are marked with a check mark. Let's talk a little bit about toolbars. AutoCAD has most commands on the ribbon, but if you prefer toolbars, you can still use them. Go to Tools on the main Windows menu strip, scroll down to Toolbars, AutoCAD, and select any toolbar you'd like to display. The toolbar can float or it can be docked by dragging to any edge of the screen. Let's close the toolbar by clicking the X in the upper right corner. Now let's take a look at the bottom left corner of the screen. The symbol in the bottom left corner of the drawing area is called the UCS icon. UCS stands for User Coordinate System. The lines point in the positive X, that's horizontal, and Y, or vertical, directions. On the right-hand side of the drawing area, we have some more view manipulation tools. In the upper right corner is what's called the View Cube. Below is the Navigation Toolbar. When I mouse over the view cube, the active area is highlighted. And a left click will execute the command to take me to the view that I've selected. This arrow opens a drop down menu with a number of different options. The navigation bar contains a variety of commands, each is highlighted as I mouse over them. Some of the tools you may be familiar with from other programs are Zoom, Pan, and orbit. There's also a few more tools and we'll be talking more about these in detail later on. And again, click this arrow and a drop-down menu with additional options will fly out. If you don't see some of the commands like the orbit command or the view cube and navigation bar all together, you can go to the view tab, windows, user interface, and select the items you want displayed. They're marked with a check when they're visible. Let's check show motion. And the motion toolbar appears right here at the bottom of the screen. Let's close it. We've also got the option to show the text window, which gives you a summary of all of the commands that you've used in the current document. The command prompt appears at the bottom of this window, and the same prompt is also available at the bottom of the drawing area. The command line is another way to communicate with AutoCAD. I can type in the word line and then press Enter that's one way to activate the line tool. Longtime users of AutoCAD are going to be familiar with this DOS left over. Now we're prompted for the coordinates. Let's enter 2, 2, press Enter, and here's our first point. Let's enter 0 and 0 for our second point, and press Enter again. And here's my first line. To exit the line tool, I'll just press Escape on the keyboard. Now let's activate the pan tool with a left click. To zoom out, I can just use the mouse wheel at any time. 
The command line is a legacy interface from the days of a pre-graphic user interface, but when you're used to it, it's an extremely convenient way to communicate with AutoCAD. Now it's possible that in future versions of AutoCAD, the command line is going to be phased out. But actually, it's a pretty useful feature for beginners because you're prompted for input to achieve the next step for any action. So in a way, it teaches you what's behind the command. I'm going to be using the command prompt frequently in this course. You'll also find circumstances when you prefer to use the command line instead of the graphic user interface. Let's take a look at the status bar at the bottom of our screen. At the far left is a set of numbers that indicates the current location of the cursor. To disable, just click in that area. And to enable it, left click again. Next are the mode toggles. Snap, grid, display, and so on. Any mode that's currently enabled is blue. Any modes that are disabled are gray. By the way, if your interface looks different, it's most likely that you've got different modes enabled than I do. I prefer to work with grid display toggled on. That gives me the lines that you see on the screen. We're going to be learning how to use each of these modes later on in this course. The last option I'd wanted to talk about in our first lesson on the AutoCAD interface is clear screen. This brings you into a full screen mode, giving you more drawing real estate. The keyboard shortcut to get to clear screen is Control-0, and press this again to toggle it off. These tabs switch us between model space and our various layouts. We'll just stay in model space for now. And this concludes our first lesson about the AutoCAD interface.